Namaste. I am Dr. Madhurika Desai. In our last series, we had covered uh, food concepts in the diet and nutrition part. Also, we had covered macronutrients. We got a huge response for this last video. So now, in this video, we are covering micronutrients. So let's start it. Okay, so friends, we are going to see micronutrients. So now, what is micronutrients? As we are seen in the last series also, micronutrients are very essential for our body and they are, as the name suggests, micro, so they require in a lesser amount in our body, but still very essential. Vitamins and minerals are micronutrients and why they are so much essential in our body? So micronutrients like vitamins are essential which uh, for the growth and maintenance of body. Also, they are important for, you know, uh, they not directly producing any energy, okay? How the carbohydrate and you know, fats are preparing. Like, like that, uh, they are not going to the direct uh, productions of energy, but they assist the main fundamental functions and biochemical functions in our body. So they are very, very essential. Uh, so we have to see their uh, details now. If these uh, micronutrients are not sufficient in our body, they can cause a, uh, uh, we can say significant health problems. Means so uh, they may cause a deficiency problems which uh, make uh, give you a uh, strong symptoms and which is not good for our body. So they are very essential. So uh, as in the diet they are not synthesized, so we require in our diet. Okay. So now what we are seeing in the next slide is what is a vitamin. The first uh, micronutrients we are covering is a vitamins. Okay, friends, vitamins we are divided into fat soluble uh, vitamins and water soluble vitamins. Fat-soluble vitamins are vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E, and vitamin K. Okay, and they are easily dissolved in fats or oils. That's why they are called fat-soluble. And very important, they get stored in our body. So, if excessive amount of you know this fat-soluble vitamins they get stored in our body may cause toxicity, which is we are calling hypervitaminosis this word you should remember they may ask you in your exam then what does the water soluble vitamins as the name suggests they get easily dissolved in water also uh, compared to the fat soluble they are not accumulated in our body they can be easily excreted in the urine so what are they so they are vitamin b1 which is called thiamine vitamin b2 riboflavin vitamin B3, niacin, vitamin B6, pyridoxin, vitamin B12, cyanocobalamine, and vitamin C. So you have to remember these chemical names of B1, B2, B3, B6, B12 also. Now, we are covering in this video only fat-soluble vitamins. So we will not get confused with the water-soluble vitamins. Okay? So for the fat-soluble vitamins, first vitamin is vitamin A. So, vitamin A is in our body in three forms. First is retinol, then the retinol, and then retinoic acid. Functions, very important is, vitamin A is needed by the retina of our eye, okay, in the form of retinol, okay, which combines with the protein called auxin to make a rhodopsin. What is this rhodopsin? Rhodopsin is a light sensitive receptor mainly for a reduced light or in a dim light they work so for the good vision we require vitamin a okay second vitamin a is very essential to maintaining the health of our epithelial tissues and our skin then third beta carotene which is the precursor of vitamin a now you understand what is a precursor precursor is a substance from which another substance is formed. So, beta carotene is essential for the formation of vitamin A. So, how this beta carotene is working in our body? It works as an antioxidant. 
now the word come what is the meaning of antioxidant antioxidant means you know these are the substance which you know uh, protect our cells to get damage from the free radicals so they prevent the damage of the cells so they are very essential uh, for our body uh, in the cancer patients uh, these are very important also to build the immunity system also vitamin a makes a very important role it plays very important role in that both the way now the promote our oral hygiene and health also vitamin a is essential now we understand what is a daily nutrition requirement it's 600 to 800 micrograms for the adult okay now we have to see uh, deficiencies first because uh, most of the time this question asked in the in in exams he you know what, what uh, it's like the uh, syrup thalmia it's a it happened because due to deficiency of this vitamin uh, then you have to write the answer vitamin a so we just we'll see what is deficiency the first deficiency is night blindness what is that there is a impaired vision particularly in low light okay so apne bahut logon ko dekha hoga ki jaise hi evening ho jati hai raat hona shuru ho jata hai unko dikhna kam hota hai so night blindness is a, is that what is a white dot spot white dot white dot spot is a opaque triangular patch mainly on the conjunctiva of the eye Seropthalmia, it is also one of kind of eye disease where there is a dryness of eye and if you are not treated xerophthalmia properly, then it may lead to you a complete blindness, okay? And now, conjunctival cirrhosis, again, there is a dryness of the eye happens because of the vitamin A deficiency. So, you have to keep this, um, you know, eye because mainly it is related with the vision. So, this kind of deficiencies cause such kind of diseases, you have to remember this all. What are the sources? So vitamin A we are getting from the animal source and plant source. Animal, eggs, fish, corn liver oil, meat, these are. From the plant, if you are mainly see, then it is we are getting for carrot, downstrick, leaves, leaf vegetables, milk, also a yellow fruits, especially mangoes, papaya, you are getting vitamin A. Okay, now uh, that season just gone. Now the vitamin D. Uh, vitamin D, we have to see first functions. Very, very essential for the bone growth. Also, the absorption of calcium through the intestine. Now, you understand when calcium is also there in your body, but if there is no vitamin D, how can the absorption will happen? So, for the absorption of the calcium, vitamin D is necessary. Not only that, but also the deposition of calcium in the bones, vitamin D is essential. Then the bones become stronger and denser. So being a doctor, we people used to write calcium supplement with the vitamin D chassis. Okay. And we used to tell the doses that, you know, weekly once you have to take for the two months. Okay. So why calcium and vitamin D is essential that you can understand now. Now, what are the sources? The main source is sunlight. From the sunlight, we, uh, that is a very important source of vitamin D. Also, corn liver oil, your egg yolk, your cheese, milk is also having the vitamin D sources. Deficiency. Many people come to us when they, they have vitamin D deficiency. Mainly, the, uh, we get the symptoms like the pain, fatigue, um, especially leg pain, muscular pain they got. If the deficiency works, then sometimes the people also comes with a muscle titani where there's a, you know, contractions of the muscles happens. Also, it uh, deficiency of vitamin D cause osteomalacia mainly in adults. What is the meaning of it? The bones deformity is means the quality quality of bones is reduced where there is a softening of uh, bones, there is a pain in bone or joints. Also, there is a recurrent fracture happens due to this vitamin D deficiency. And in, in the children, if you find out vitamin D deficiency, the main is rickets. Mainly in exam, they ask this question frequently. So rickets, vitamin D deficiency, mainly in children. Where we may have seen it is a you know bone abnormality, means bone formation abnormality, abnormality happens where you can find out the 
curve bone you know and uh, even curve spine even uh, they have a lot of pain in the bones and joints also a frequent fracture also happens in this case because the softening of the bone so that is also one thing you have to remember now the daily nutrition requirement is 2.5 microgram per adult the next is vitamin a very very important uh, vitamin as it serves our healthy mm. oxidant as i told you what is the meaning of it it is a protect cells from the destruction now anti sterility definitely for the reproduction vitamin a is essential also for iron metabolism uh, to boost your immunity it is essential and very very important it is very good and uh, you know essential for your good skin for your good hair so anti aging properties also there in vitamin a so normally vitamin a tablets most of the people they apply that on your skin to glow uh, your skin now what are the sources mainly vegetable oils like the sesame oil and the mustard oil then the cereals like the wheat corn nuts like you know almond and green green leafy vegetables we get vitamin e deficiency hemolytic anemia as the name says there is an abnormal breakdown of rbc's happen mostly it's happened in plants and that's the anemia um, the in plant got now there is also as it works on the skin so dullness of skin also it's working on the reproduction so failure in the reproduction this is also some of the deficiency symptoms we find daily nutrition requirement is 0.8 microgram for adults you have to remember this and the last for this video is vitamin k uh first we have to find out function it is anti hemorrhagic factor it's called coagulating factor also what is the meaning of coagulation coagulation is a process in which the blood which is in liquid form get converted into a gel form to become clot okay now how the vitamin k is important for this vitamin k is become a catalyst it's it's it become a catalyst to you know uh, the process happen like this vitamin k catalyze your uh, prothrombin to convert into thrombin then thrombin activates fibrinogen to convert into fibrin ultimately which become the blood clot so do you remember vitamin k then the prothrombin thrombin fibrinogen fibrin and clot this is the way the sequence you should keep in mind it is a process of blood clot so for the blood clotting vitamin k is very 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 essential so it is helpful in the treatment of hemophilia what is a hemophilia hemophilia is one of the uh, you know genetic disorder where there is a inability of uh, you know become uh, the blood get clot so there is a uh, we can say inability or it is a impaired in a, uh, inability in the body where the blood clots so what happened in this case in hemophilia patients we find out that a simple cut also causes you so much of blood and uh, they and the that bleeding time is become very longer 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 even they got you know longer bleeding time and profuse blood loss is happen in hemophilia patients now what are the sources Uh, green vegetables cabbage cauliflower spinach these are the main main sources in the grains like the cereals now the what is the deficiency plus first keep it in mind as i told you if the vitamin k is deficiency which mainly and mostly found in infants mostly so if it is happen like that then there is a prolonged clotting time and bleeding time means clot hone ke liye bhi der se clot form hoga aur जब तक वो क्लॉट नहीं फॉर्म होता है ब्लीड होता जाता है और ब्लीड भी प्रोफ्यूज सो इसको कहते हैं प्रोलॉन्ग क्लॉटिंग टाइम एंड प्रोलॉन्ग ब्लीडिंग टाइम सो एज आई टोल हिमोफीलिया पेशेंट्स वेयर वी गिव द सप्लीमेंट ऑफ विटामिन के बिकॉज दैट इज वेरी असेंशियल फॉर दिस पेशेंट अदरवाइज ब्लीडिंग टाइम एंड क्लॉटिंग टाइम इज रियली प्रोलॉन्ग इन दैट केस and so the daily requirements is 0.03 mg per kg body weight which for the adults so here for this video we are covered only the fat soluble vitamins do not get confused with the water soluble that's why only i covered this much in the next series i'm going to cover water soluble vitamins and get 
uh, connected with the snake series also and uh, if you have any queries then definitely uh, my contact details is there you can definitely contact uh, me and just ask me your queries even your feedback is also important for us thank you